Well, folks, sorry about that. I realized that that was kind of quick, but uh, leaving that chrysalis seemed to be pretty quick. So I want to share that with you real fast. So now that it's out and it's hanging and drying its wings, this is what we're looking at. A real pretty new monarch butterfly. First time I've got one coming out of the chrysalis. This is our uh, second, no, third born uh, in the past couple weeks. And we still have one more. That was a little bit of a surprise. But this one's over here on my makeshift little, where's he at? Can you see him? There's a chrysalis right there. That we know is going to be born in a little while, probably a day or so. So when that one happens, I'll give you all a holler. But it looks like we're back up and running. Oh yeah, to cover my uh, pruning your giant milkweed, this is what we get. I started with this one, bought this one, and then we bought this one. Okay, this is two of my cuttings. Okay, and this is cuttings, pruning, and these three. So I think I got myself quite a bit of uh, giant milkweed. This is the regular tropical milkweed. That's not been doing all that great. The only thing it seems like it's good for is uh, eggs hatching and I get caterpillars and then I transfer them over here to this fancy rejuvenating. This thing, they can strip it completely bare. And as you can see, some of the leaves are starting to come back again already. I love this plant. I really do. So, everything else in the butterfly garden is coming along. It's that time of the year, I would imagine. All of my little flowers will come back and attract these monarchs. This one is, this one's like a lavender. It has purple flowers on it. All right, well, until another time... This is the North Fort Myers RV Butterfly Man. Y'all have a good day.